what's up, what's up? It's your girl here, Ida Marie. Welcome to the channel. Hey, oh, you also can call me Nia if you want to. Um, I want to first start off and say that this is a social media. YouTube is a part of social media. What we do, we share ideas, opinions, and thoughts. That's what we do. If you don't like my opinion, you can actually go somewhere else. You don't need to be on this channel, okay? Now, I want to give a shout out to Jay Park. He has been really supportive of the hashtag Black Lives Matter movement. I want to say thank you. He has been posting nonstop on his Instagram page. Okay. Um, with that said, I have been trying to find black women that like K-pop. Why haven't they spoken out? Why haven't they done the hashtag? Only if some of us are speaking out, but not all. I just want to know why is it that I'm going on these girls' channels? I'm not going to call their names. But I'm going on these girls' channels. Why are they not talking about the hashtag Black Lives Matter? Are you afraid that you're going to lose followers? Are you afraid you're going to lose some subscribers on YouTube? We need to talk about this. We need to discuss this. So the reason why you might say, well, pfft, you know, you talk about a lot of K-pop. But does Black Lives Matter have to do with um, K-pop or like K-drama? Yes, it does have a lot. Because I have, have a lot to do with this. Because I've talked about in the past that black young ladies have moved over to Korea and how they got they have gotten discriminated because of their skin tone. So apparently this is not an issue just in America. This is a global issue. That's why it's a global protest. If you don't know, the hashtag Black Lives Matter, hashtag George Floyd, this is a global protest. This is not just in America. From Auckland, New Zealand to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to Berlin. Crowds have gathered, so George Floyd's last words don't die with his killing. A huge mural erected along the iconic path of the old Berlin Wall. In Montreal, the message the same. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau adding his own cautionary words. No country immune to this scourge. Anti-black racism, racism is real it's in the united states but it's also in canada in ireland north and south george floyd larger than in life remembered on dublin's walls in dublin transatlantic ties making this killing feel closer to home and in London, protesters came in their thousands, gathering amidst the grandeur of Trafalgar Square, marching off toward the US Embassy, pausing outside the Prime Minister's office to tell him what they think. Way too long everywhere, everywhere, in, the world. everywhere in the world. People, people choose to think that it's not going on anymore. That's the biggest racism of all right now, the fact that they're, they're sitting there thinking that it doesn't exist. This is proof that it exists. In Paris, silence for remembrance, for a life taken so callously. America's friends are watching and they are worried. We want to see a de-escalation of all of those tensions in America come together. More protests are planned for London, where 23 people were arrested Sunday some for breaking lockdown rules, which bans groups larger than six. America's own challenge is rippling out. So far, more peaceful than the nightly storms filling US streets. All the same, a measure of how racism scars our common cause. So we know that um, you guys, I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if you guys experience it, but I have experienced discrimination so many times, so many times. I can give you an example of where I was literally in my own neighborhood sitting at the lake and these two white couples, and I hate to say white, but I have been discriminated by different races too. But I, I just have to give you an example how I'm sitting there at the lake trying to vent to my brother because I was upset about something. I was trying to say something to them. And these couples come up here accusing us of being drug dealers and asking us to leave. I told them, why don't you leave, you're harassing me because I've been here first anyway. I'm venting to my brother, mind your business. Nobody over here is drug dealers. And anyway, I live here. So that's just one example. I also found videos where uh, I believe is an Asian boss. They were interviewing 
Asian people and one Asian girl said herself that when she came over here to Korea, when she came over here to America, I've got Korea in my mind, but when she came over here to America, she got discriminated against. Yo but she got discriminated against. So this is not a small issue. This is a big issue. And also the hashtag Black Lives Matter, it does not mean that black people are better than other races. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about equal rights. We're talking about no one should be getting treated differently when they're in the front of law enforcement. No one should. But it seems that it's always the black person that's getting killed the most. And there's other races too have gotten killed. So it's not just black. But because of this George Floyd, I believe that this this was it. This is the last straw. You know, we kept giving pass after pass after pass, and now people are saying, no, we're not going to do this. So if you're not a part of the movement and you are against it, or and you might say, oh, I'm not against it, but, you know, all lives matter. To me, I feel like that's an excuse. I feel like you don't want to talk about it because you don't really want to, really want to speak what's on your mind. Speak what's really on your mind. Everybody else is doing it. Don't be afraid to talk about it. Um, I'm going to a girl who called her parents out about it. I see the people. Do you know why I they're in that position? I see these people. Do you understand the systematic and historical reason for why they're in that position? They don't care. All they want to do is be ghetto. No. Yes, there's no. some that don't and there's good people. No. Members, most of them just want to suck off the system or do something bad like drugs or gangs. And that's all they They care have about. been oppressed. They have it not been given matter. the they same the opportunities you have yes, had. They do. And there's plenty of black people. No, they don't, there's plenty Dad. Of, there's plenty of money and you not recognizing that as an issue is the reason why it's still continuing today. I, I see them all over. There's all kinds of successful people that are of color. It doesn't matter what color, brown, white. But it's orange, a lot harder yellow. for them to get to that it position. It doesn't matter when they do; they're fine. But there's always filthy animals. In that you're case, calling you're calling people of color black no. animals. You're calling them animals. I'm talking. You didn't Are let you me kidding me? You didn't let me finish. That's not okay. I'm about the no, no matter shows. what, that's not okay. No matter what, it's it not okay. okay. Racism is not okay. Why do you think that racism is okay? <laughs> Right. Oh, that's mine. Really, I'm gonna look at. That's mine. No, I'm looking at well, statistics. That, that's my right that's your statistics can't—they can be warped. Statistics can be warped. You want to show? You want me to show you videos? So do you want me to show you videos of cops? Why is, why I will are, do why it. Is statistics wrong? Because, because they can be right. warped. I'm not giving statistics right now. They can be warped. Personal experiences can't. No, because this is actually putting it into play. Do I need to show you a bunch of videos of cops attacking protesters, peaceful protesters? You mean I'm informed and educated? Yes, I am. Mom, I was watching political stuff and you said to turn that off because you don't want to hear about it. That means I am educated on it and you are not. I'm sick of hearing it. The fact that you can have that ignorance, really, I'm, ignorance for the majority is bliss. Okay, so ignorance I'm, for the minority so I'm is looking at destruction. That are wrong. This is just pure wrong information out there. Just give me the statistic. In 2017, 457 white people were shot to death by the police in the United States. Okay. 223 were black. 76% of the population is white. 13% is black. I if, that. if they were being killed at the exact same rate by police officers, the rate of black people being killed would be 8.9. But it's not. It's 24%. The rate of white people being killed should be about where it is. So they're being killed at a higher rate. There is more white people, meaning that the amount of people killed by cops who are white would be higher. The reaction of the person. I'm you know, so it I, I'm just I'm just a little I'm a little I'm just sitting here thinking I'm a little worried that I don't understand why these girls who got these K-pop channels um, 
they're not speaking out about it. I just feel like this is like, really? We're not going to speak out about this. Hmm. Okay. But that's just, like I say, this is just my point of view. Um, I also want to talk about uh, the Africans. I, I, I made a, a longer video of this on MJ's Nia. Uh, you know, I'll give you, show you the name. Probably might put a link in the description. But I also talked about how Asian people were getting discriminated very badly in other countries when the coronavirus came out. Remember that, guys? I'm sorry I have to take it back to February, but what we hear in America, Asian people were getting beat up, Asian people were getting attacked. They were being discriminated so badly because of the coronavirus. Remember that? Well, the Africans over there, Africans and Africans Americans that were over there in China, were getting disrespected too. They were getting thrown out of their homes, even though they pay their rent on time. They were not able to eat food. They were just pretty much thrown out in the street, like as a, with no shelter, no food and shelter. So, um, like I say, I talked about this. I made a longer video on my MJ's Nia. Check it out, link in the description. But I just want you guys to know, we got to fight this discrimination. We have to not to say oh let's look the other way oh it doesn't matter it does matter people especially if somebody of my skin tone is coming into your country how do you treat me you know do you do you treat me like a human being how do you how do you speak to me do you speak to me differently you know i just want to know because I'm, I'm getting to see that a lot of people don't care about this topic and I just want to make sure that this channel that I talk about mostly I mostly talk about k-pop issues when it comes to how the way they get how you get treated if you are a k-pop star I've talked about this if you are a different skin tone you get treated differently so I just want to know what are your thoughts on the hashtag black lives matter let me know down in the comment area now I will tell you this if you are very rude to me or anybody else, your comment will be deleted. Or you possibly will, ban, will be banned. I know we can share our ideas here. That's all we're doing. Sharing thoughts and ideas with each other. But I have respect for others, okay? Thank you for tuning in to your Witcher Girl here now. <laughs> Thank you for coming and watching the video, okay? Peace. I'm not a man, 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 I'